program is going to be all sacred music in the second half. After intermission will be all secular songs in various parts of the world. And we're starting off with some sacred harp tunes that are probably familiar to at least a lot of you that have heard sacred harp or sung sacred harp before. That was Soar Away, which comes from the collection The Sacred Harp that was first published in the 1840s in the South. And next we'll do another one, a more modern one, from the same book called Green Street. Oh! 
singing right now is part of her talking. <laughs> this was the, the part of the concert during our tour to the West Coast that I got to say what was Green Mountain Crossing and where we were going. But now we've been there, so <laughs> <laughs> this is what we this is how we spent our summer <laughs> traveling around in a bus and a van and two cars doing country dances and concerts in Virginia and Minnesota and Washington and Oregon and California. And we started out here in January, gathered together from Boston, Montreal, and Vermont, and all these different things that we did and places that we were, and to get this material together to take it across the country. And we spent a lot of time going back and forth between Boston and Vermont, rehearsing here and there. And we, before we left in July, we rehearsed in the schoolhouse in Maple Corner. And so it really means a great deal of a, to us to come back and do this now for all of you having rehearsed all summer for this concert. <laughs> In some ways it feels like that. It does for me anyway. Um, anyway, what Green Mountain Crossing uh, began as was a way of combining all the different kinds of music and dancing and singing that we really like to do and that we wanted to do together. So it was crossing all those different parts of our of our lives and then crossing the country and then crossing back again, which was also an endeavor. And, and through all that kind of crossing, we found ourselves joining together as a group and becoming a group with an identity that we hadn't had before and then sharing that with other people and places that also were interested in the kinds of music that we did. So. We now have this, all this experience with all those people, and it feels very good to bring all that, have that history to bring here tonight. And also, the history and the music comes through too. All the kinds of music that we're doing was people's music in one way or another, and has been sung through years and years, hundreds of years, some of it. And we feel the connection with all those people sort of mounting up for in, in the singing here and enjoying to get joining together ourselves and enjoying them with you and feeling the power of the music and the hope in the music, even though some of it may not be too cheerful, there still is a lot of hope and energy in that music. And that for us was the biggest part of what we did together was, was feeling that kind of energy and feeling that growth and that hope and knowing that there is that light in the world and that we are a part of it. So thank you for being here tonight with us. Next song I'm going to do is called Shake These Bones. It was written relatively recently by Malcolm Douglas, who's a folk singer in uh, Indiana. And he wrote it more or less with the ideas of shape note two in mind. I 
I'll show you how I'm living, Lord, every day. I may not fall down on my knees and start to pray. I may not fall down on my knees and worship you or pray. But there's reverence in my laughter, Lord, anyway. I'll show you who I'm loving, Lord, in the night. And when the door is open, Lord, and filled with light. And when the door is open, Lord, and filled with the morning light, we'll hear the child that calls for us out of sight. I'll show you who I'm loving, Lord, in the day. And to my fellow people, Lord, these words I'll say. And to all my fellow people, Lord, these loving words I'll say. And I'll shake these bones and shout and sing my life away. I'll show you how I'm feeling, Lord, any day. I'll shake these bones and shout and sing my life away. I'll shake these bones and I will shout and sing my life away. For it won't be long before these bones turn to clay. identified very strongly with the, the ideas and the emotions of the song. And she died this summer after a long struggle with multiple sclerosis that rendered her increasingly an invalid. And she died actually just before we got to Portland on our tour, which is where she was living. And we, I sang her song at a memorial service for her there. And it felt especially appropriate. So I'd like to dedicate it to her again now. It's an old Quaker hymn. North Carolina from before the Civil War, during the time when Quakers there were being persecuted for their opposition to, to slavery, and a lot of you are probably familiar with it. My life goes on in endless song, above Earth's lamentation, I hear the real a new creation above the tumult and the strife I hear the music ringing it sounds an echo in my soul how can I keep from singing what though the tempest loudly roars I hear the truth it liveth, what though the darkness round me close, songs in the night it liveth. No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging, since love is Lord of heaven. When tyrants tremble, sick with fear, at the bells of freedom ringing, when friends rejoice both far and near, how can I keep from singing? In prison cell and dungeon vile, our thoughts to them are winging. No when friends by shame are undefiled, how can I keep from singing? I'm going to close this half with two more things. One short song, another shape note song from one of the early collections 
called solicitude. And then following that, we're going to go back a couple of hundred years and do three movements from a Renaissance mass by Clemens von Papa, a Flemish composer of the mid-16th century. And we'll do the uh, Kyrie and the Sanctus and the Agni.
Mama, you jolly flower boys, and help me to sing. I will sing in the praise of you all, for if we don't labor, how can there be bread? I will sing and make merry with all. It was up to young brethren, to brethren of old. It was, it was up, up to young brethren born. For the one was a shepherd, a tender of sheep, and the other a blender of corn. We will boil it, we will toil it through mire and through clay. We will plow it up deeper and low than ever comes to seed and its corn for to sow, and the harrow to rig it in rows. Here's April, here's May, here's June and July. What pleasure to see the corn grow. In August it ripeneth, we reap and sheaves tie, and go down with our scythes for to mow. Come all you jolly cowboys and help me to sing. I will sing in the praise of you all. For if we don't labor, how can there be bread? I will sing and make merry with all. This is a duet from England, and it tells the story of a weaver who was put out of work due to a strike and of her struggles therein. I'm a forlorn weaver as many a one knows. I'm not to eat and I wore out me clothes. Me clothes were both rugged and stockings I've none. You scarce give me tuppence for all I've gotten. Old Billy old Ben, he kept telling me long. We might have better times if I'd never told me songs. I told him me tongue till I'd near lost me breath. And I feel in me own heart, I'll soon clam to death. I'm a forlorn weaver, as many a one knows. I've not to eat, and I've worn out me clothes. Old Billy Dory, he never worked clam, and he never picked floor in his life. We held on.
from the Hebrides, which are islands off the western coast of Scotland. And it's a spinning song that a woman would probably sing as she was spinning the wool from the sheep that she probably raised herself. And often I find women's, um, at least solo work songs, have a fairly contemplative uh, quality to them. And the translation to this says, that I gave great love to you, such as a sister never gives to her brother, and such as a mother never gives to her child. In the beginning is a wheel, and I the thread. Fate goes spinning over our heads.
next song is another song from, Brit uh, from Ireland. That was a song. This is from Ireland. Um, written by a man named Michael Hogan. The tune is actually very ancient. The words were written probably in the 1940s by Michael Hogan. The name of the song is Draherin o Makri, which means little brother of my heart. <laughs>
Eastern Europe for the rest of the program. First the composed piece and then several village songs. This first one is a what I sort of call a peasant cantata by Kudai, <coughs> along with Bartok is the Hungarian composer of this century that everybody whose name most people know. He was very steeped in the folk tradition of his country and collected many songs and poems and texts from various country sources. And this piece is called Matra Pictures. It's in several sections, not really telling any one complete story, but kind of different scenes, like a collage of scenes from village life. The first long section talks of the sort of Robin Hood character Vidrotsky, who was a highwayman, a, a shepherd, well beloved by his countrymen, always getting in trouble with the law and eventually killed by Stephen Pinter. And Pinter, Pinter Pishta, you'll hear that in the text. And then uh, a section that's announced by all the men's voices singing in unison together. A young man leaves home, and his sweetheart who's left behind says, if you remain true to me, that's great, and if you should prove false to me, may God damn you. <laughs> and then a slow and very sad, sort of melancholy section about a little bird flying and bearing a message from a sweetheart who's been left behind at home whose heart is breaking. And then the lo last two sections, which kind of go without stop one into the other, are various village scenes, mowing the hay in the fields in the summer, uh, farmyard animals playing, chickens scrabbling around the, the hen yard, guests coming to dinner and overstaying their welcome and having to be beaten with a stick to convince them to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and then the chickens playing in the chicken yard again. That's the theme that comes back several times in this last section of the fast. The chicken theme. The chicken theme. <laughs> and then finally all those themes all together at once. At the end. <coughs> so Matra Pictures, written in 1931 by Kodai. Thank you. 
song, one of many about that mentions the hero, partisan hero Yane Sandansky, who was a leader of the guerrilla, really a guerrilla warfare against the invading Turks who took over Bulgaria on many occasions. And a young girl is traveling in the mountains and meets Yane Sandansky. And he says to her, if you're a true patriot, you'll come and join us in our struggle against the Turkish invaders.
sing the last farewell song, which is called Party Friends.